Hey guys, just a quick prelude to what you're getting ready to watch. I wanted to let you know that if you like the product, please go down to the description and find out how you can purchase this product. But this is how we keep Little Mo clean. Okay, enjoy the video. All right, good morning. July 8th, Friday, July 8th, 2022. Just watch a great video some, for some of our friends of ours. Uh, Dreaming Out Loud RVing and uh, they were showing us a cleaning product that they were using and it really did a great job I'm not knocking the product at all but it gave me an idea why don't I show you what we use so we use a product called Wash Wax All okay some friends of ours Steve and Connie Brown uh, showed us this product when we were out in Quartzsite actually they sell the product so I, I was skeptical about the product I watched him use it and I thought mm, is it really that good and I'll tell you what it really is um, normally I got to pull out the hose pull out a bucket mix soap and all this other stuff what we do to get the major dirt off of it is we hit a blue beacon we'll be truthful we hit a blue beacon whenever we can that's how we keep it mostly clean but to keep it in this nice, shiny way that you see it. I don't, oh my, why don't you pan across there and you can see how shiny uh, uh, the outside is. I haven't done this except once when we arrived. But what happens is when it rains, sometimes we get these black streaks. Now watch, I could just wipe that off if I wanted to. See how that just comes right off? Okay, I could just take a rag and wipe it all off. But I like to clean it with this product. By the way, this is a concentrate, and I'll show you in a minute how that works. So you need two rags when you do this. You spray it. You wipe it. Yeah, I've got a stubborn one here. And then you dry it. I got a stubborn. Must have missed that streak the last time it rained. Let me try that again. Yeah, that's what it that's what it needed. It just needed a little bit more spray. A little bit more. To, there it comes. Look, look at that. Came right off. Okay. So I got the black off. Put the wet one away. And you and you dry this immediately after you do that. What is this right here? comes off whatever it is little black spots of some sort and I'm gonna tell you what that is so slick guys even this where I haven't even done it like since May is really nice and slick but to give it that good look we like to maintain it with this Okay, now for the other toys that are involved with the kit. Okay, this is when, oh, by the way, I do my truck with this too. Okay, just use a wet one and a dry one, spray and wash. What's it take me, 20 minutes to do the whole truck? Probably, yeah. Yeah, Close and, to it, that. and it gives you that nice baby butt feeling too. Okay, so when we bought the kit, we bought this concentrate and it takes one ounce per pint to make a concentrate okay now bought this in may i'm not even halfway done with the bottle i've probably used it four times since we bought it four times mm -hmm. so it lasts a lot i think it lasts a long time as you can see it it uh, doesn't have to be used every day or every week or anything like that okay 
but the kit included this was the selling point for me right there i hate to brag guys but this is a nice long pole look at that this is something that you want to clean with because it will reach the roof okay it comes with a hand bug scrubber which i haven't even had to use yet i have used this one uh, on the cap you know for a couple bugs that we got and that just screws onto the same pole nice like general area comes with the spare cleaner side um, comes with some more rags it comes with uh, more heads for this these by the way you just uh, they're velcroed on you just take them pull them off and you wash them you now yeah. why is there two because one side you spray the wet formula on that blue stuff so i spray this stuff with the blue and the other side stays dry so when i'm done and the wet side is really dirty i pull it off we wash it i take the dry side and move it over to the wet side so i keep rotating the heads i haven't even had to put a new head on it yet okay so uh it rained here last week it's been what two or three weeks it's like two weeks at least two, two weeks, weeks since i did this this side stays pretty well protected because of the awnings. But the other side, I get overspill from the from the gutters, and uh, it causes a few black streaks. So come on over. We'll uh, we'll attack those right now. As you can see, there's a black streak that goes from here all the way to the roof. So I'm going to spray the wet side. I usually do something like this. Because you want to Okay, I let my photographer hold that. I'll extend my pole. Put that up against that. And as you can see, the black streak is coming, coming right off. Okay, and as soon as you get that done, flip it over, you can see where it says dry. Put the dry side against it and wipe it off. You do not want to let this stuff dry without getting it off. So. It is preferred that you do not use it in direct sunlight. That's a scratch from a tree branch. And that's it. That's how we keep little Mo clean. So I've made contact with the sellers of the product and see about getting you a promotional code so if everything goes well you should see it here at the end of this video thanks for watching all right guys i'm back real quick i forgot i did get a bottle of uh um cleaner and degreaser this is not concentrate you would use it directly out of the bottle it's great for underneath on the fifth wheel if you get some road grime on there uh, spray right on and, and use it the same way that you use um, the other cleaner. Uh, Oma also mentioned that all these products are machine washable. Do not, when you dry them, do not use fabric softener. Okay, so no fabric softener on them. Otherwise, you lose, it puts a protectant on this that doesn't make them absorbable. So that's why you don't use fabric softener. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.